What are classes and objects? Classes are the blueprint for how objects are made. Think of having a blueprint for a car and having to make 50 of them. The class is the blueprint, while the cars are the objects. We say that they are instances of the class. When we need an object of a certain specification, we instantiate one. This simply means our computer will create an instance of the class. We can create many objects from a single class. Think about a factory making cars. They have a blueprint for a car and will make thousands of cars from that. Although each car is made from a similar blueprint, they can be customized and differentiated by their attributes. These attributes can include color or rims or unique identifiers like VIN numbers. There are thousands of pre-made classes already designed by third parties such as Apple. These include items such as UI button, UI label, and NS string. We saw an example of an NS string earlier when we typed at quote quote and put characters inside of the quotes. Our object library provided examples of the UI view objects that were pre-made by Apple. However, many of our classes will not be visible to the user like NS string objects, so don't expect all objects to be available in the view library. Each object has attributes which we refer to as properties. For example, text was a property of our UI label. In our car example, it could be color, model, brand, or any other set of attributes or properties you can think about that would need to be required to properly describe a car. The other major issue of an object is the actions an object can perform. We call these actions methods. For example, after describing our car's appearance, a real-life object like a car can also do things like drive. Another example of an action a car might take would be to stop or brake. The car object would need to detail the set of instructions that should occur when you tell the car object that it needs to stop. We have seen examples of methods like view did load which is a method. We've also seen this called inside of our view controller, which is an object. We also created a method that we hooked up our button to inside of our view controller in our previous tutorials. When we press the button, some set of logic occurred. We were telling our view controller to evaluate a set of logic dynamically. In our example on the screen here, you can see our blueprint as well as three instances of our car. Notice that each instance has its own color and attributes. Let's create our own class, give it a few properties and methods, so you can get a hang of what we're talking about. 